Welcome to my Wednesday question and answers on Instagram. What age should I start slowing down with my dog? She is eight turning nine, but she loves the flirt pole. In this scenario, you got to be careful. If the dog is eight turning nine, the dog is getting older. You got to be cognizant of that. And I probably wouldn't be working the dog crazy hard. You got to make sure when you're doing a dog like that, that um, you warm up the dog properly and you want to keep it to a soft surface. This is something personal. You got to look at your dog and say to yourself, okay, this is too much. If you see the dog limping around the next day and stuff like that, it could be diet, but I would probably back off a little bit. I wouldn't go so hard on the dog. Um, they are getting up in age, so you got to be mindful of that. How do you correct the dog if they go pee pee in the house? You shouldn't correct the dog, to be honest with you, for peeing or pooping in the house. You can yell or you can do whatever, but every dog is subject to take that in a different way. If you yell and scream or hey, or even something like that, you could spook the dog and they're not thinking that it's because it's in the house. They're thinking it's because I'm pooping. And then you can run into a problem like I'm scared to poop outside, I'm scared to poop around you, so I will hide and poop or hide and pee. So the best thing to do is to just clean it up, make sure you clean it up properly, you ignore it and you reward for pooping outside. Now. There is cases where you could be like, no, and pick up the dog and run outside. That's all right. But if the dog starts thinking that it's a problem to pee or poop, then you got major problems. So you need to make sure that you go sing the pee-pee song outside. You could find that on YouTube, how to use the pee-pee song, and make sure you reward them so they understand that, hey, outside I get rewarded, inside I don't get anything. So I need to reward outside. Also, you could teach a dog to hit a bell to go outside and there's a bunch of things you can do. But it can be a tricky process when you yell at a dog or reprimand a dog for peeing or pooping in the house. Can you post an update about Freddy? Freddy's mom here. Let's take it easy on the Wednesday roll session today. We miss Freddy. How is he doing? So these are three questions just for Freddy. Okay, so we'll address Freddy right now. Freddy is an anxious dog that was rescued by his mom who cares for him and loves him very much. And he has a bit of anxiety and he's scared of things. He gets spooked out by a few things. But uh, generally he seems like a happy, rambunctious dog, sweet dog. Um, I am now starting to socialize him with other dogs, taking him out to public places now that we've somewhat established a bond. And now I'm also doing some obedience with him. Uh, when I'm doing obedience with this particular dog, I will be doing a lot of uh, crazy things, say, per se, to normal people. Loud noises, jumping, running, acting crazy, picking him up, putting him in awkward positions, awkward situations, and just conditioning him to getting used to discomfort, essentially. Um, we will be working a few things. I will be posting videos on what I'm doing with him, probably on my YouTube channel, but that's what we're working on with Freddie. Freddy is actually a very sweet dog. He's a nice dog and we are getting along and um, he is coming around. He's changing a lot. His initial issues was major barking, howling and stuff like that, which we've kind of, I don't want to say eliminated, but we've definitely stopped that. Uh, when he sees me leave him and go out with the other dogs, he makes noises. I am now starting to calm him down and realize that we're not leaving you. You're going to be fine by yourself and I need him to be calm. So that's what we're working on. As far as recall, obedience, um, like to sit right away, wait for thresholds, these are all things that will build his confidence. Also doing obstacle work and uh, throwing him in random environments with me. So that's what we'll be doing with Freddie. He's doing great. Uh, I like the progress that I see. It's just a time intensity thing that we gotta work on. Your thoughts on elections. My thoughts on elections are they're necessary for a democratic society, right? So people are gonna vote for what they think is right. now. That doesn't mean that everybody's voting knows what's really going on. The people voting don't really know how to run a country, okay? They don't know the, like what it takes, how to balance a, a economy, things like that. But they should have the opportunity to vote. Therefore, the people that are running should explain their, what, they're, what, they're, what they wanna do. How are they going to fix the problems? And they need to communicate this properly. Um, so elections for me are necessary for a democratic um, government. The problem is we have a media that skews information and we need to have long form um, sit downs to discuss how and why you are doing what you're doing to get the desired result. Mind you, running a country is very complicated. 
So this is not a simple, simple um, five minute thing. I'm not sure if this question was regarding the American election or just elections in general. Uh, if this is regarding the American election, um, I think that it was well needed and I think that too much power in the government is a problem because the government can, um, you know, they're human beings too. They screw up and they have bad intentions sometimes. That's not the, um, for the benefit of the, the people. So that could be a problem. But society also doesn't know what's going on. So... I don't know, man. It's a very complicated subject. Uh, I liked how the U.S. election went. I don't think there was any bullshit that happened this time. Um, and I personally like the outcome. And I hope to see change. And I hope they can, you know, clean up what has happened. This question is, how important is it to say the marker first before reaching for the food or the dog seeing it? It is super important. That's the whole point of a marker. So you have to say it before you give the dog. The, uh, like this doesn't make any sense here. If you're just if you're just saying the mark and you're not giving the dog anything, uh, then the dog doesn't equate that sound with a reward. That's the whole point, and it has to be consistent. Now you can add duration later on once you've taught the dog that hey, this uh, sound equals this, and once you've built value in the mark and they understand that when they hear that sound, something good is coming, then you can start adding duration. But how important is it? Is the utmost important. This skill set of marking and precision in the mark and your relationship with the dog is 95% of your training if you're going to be com competitive or anything like that. That's the skill set that takes an amateur dog trainer to a expert level dog trainer, in my opinion, is your communication. And this is a part, this is a big part of communication. Uh, this is definitely very important. So if you're not, if you, if you're not using this technique and you're not using it properly, your training is, is not going to be at all precise. This is very important. This fundamentally is one of the most important things you can do, in my opinion, when it comes to better than average pet dog training. This is what's going to take people from a normal dog trainer to expert competition level is having good communication. And this is a huge fundamental part of that. When is my training treat pouch coming? I'm still waiting. Your Bulletproof Canines kit should be coming very soon. I would say a week or two. So look out in the mail. You should get it soon and give me a review when you're done. Let me know how you like it. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this question and answer this week. I know it wasn't a long one. We got, I got a lot of running around to do, but um, I appreciate you guys, and uh, I think things are looking good now, a little bit. I think we're a little optimistic on the future. Elections are kind of over. Things hopefully will settle down and straighten out. Um, and uh, I feel a little bit that there's a little weight off of the shoulder here. That's what I feel. I don't know how you guys feel. But I hope everything is well. I hope everything's good, and don't be a piece of shit. See you guys next week.